Art Berdebeev stops Rad Kalaijas in the fifth round. Berdebeev looked good in this fight against the guy Kalaijas who had only suffered one previous loss and that was to Marcus Brown on a split decision. He had Brown down in that fight. Kalaijas seemed pretty much out of his depth in this fight. He'd no answer to the power of Baturbiev. Baturbiev, he was mauling, he was bruising, he was landing short, clubbing shots on Kalaijas and Kalaijas just seemed bothered from the outset from the power of Bert B.F. Bert B.F. in his last fight against Callum Johnson looked shaky. He was down in that fight. Callum Johnson had a lot of success against Bert B.F. Callum Johnson going into that fight was very unknown. was unheralded. He was thought of as a British level fighter. Definitely in his performance since against Shawnee Monaghan. You can see that uh, Johnson is. He does belong in that kind of upper echelon of the light heavyweight division. So for Bert B.F. to go and have a hard time against someone like a Johnson. It doesn't look as bad now. Um, but against Kalaijas, he didn't have a hard time. From the out- outset, he was, you know, straight away on top of Kalaijas. He was throwing some hard, hard, powerful shots at him. And he definitely seemed to be bothering Kalaijas straight away with the power. Okay? There was a couple of exchanges in this fight. Whenever they seemed to get into the exchanges, it seemed like Bert Biev was the one who came out on top. He was, you know, quite happy to stand there having a shootout, having a trade-off in the middle of the ring. And Kalaijas, again, he just didn't seem to have an answer for it. He was down in the third round, um from an exchange and just kind of from then on in it just was was all bird to be the referee was kind of checking on colitis in the fourth round and then come the fifth round he was taking a few shots referee just jumped in stopped it it would go down as a ko under the california rules um this was not really a competitive fight but Terbiev looked good he looked strong he looked powerful in this fight basically i've always felt that bird to be in the light heavyweight division if you look at guys like vodsek bivol um, you know, Marcus Brown, Sergei Kovalev. I'd always put Bert Biev as number one. I've just been impressed with him. I'm impressed with his physical strength. I'm impressed by his punching power. He has looked vulnerable against Callum Johnson, but most of these light heavyweights have looked vulnerable. Like, if you look at Vodsek, he was down against Tommy Carpensi. You know, when he had a couple of hard rounds against Carpensi, Gilberto Ramirez dealt with him decisively. Uh, Bivol, he's not really looked to be the biggest punter as of late. You know, he's been going the distance with guys... You know, like Jan Pascal, like Isaac Chalemba, who guys like Kovalev and Vodsek dealt with decisively a couple of years back when they were already on the decline then. If you look at Bert Biev, you know, he was down and had a hard time against Callum Johnson. And in many people believe that Callum Johnson froze a bit in the second round when he dropped Bert Biev. And if you look at Sergei Kovalev, Sergei Kovalev, is he coming towards the end of his career? What much does he have left? You know, so all these light heavyweights, they're all killers in their own right. But they're all vulnerable, which makes the light heavyweight division very intriguing. You got guys like Marcus Brown, um, you know, Anthony Yar, Joshua Bowatsi, kind of guys like that who are upcoming. So, you know, Gilbert Ramirez, he's moving up to light heavyweight. So it's a very interesting division. I would put Bert BF number one, but it's close. It's all very close at the top. This was a good performance of Bert BF. I was impressed with him, um, as I usually am. And uh, yeah, onwards and upwards from here. It'd be interesting to see who he fights next. I wouldn't mind seeing him versus Vodsek. I think that'd be a very intriguing fight. Vodsek versus Berdebiev, very intriguing fight because it looks likely that we're going to get the announcement this week that Sergei Kovalev will face Anthony Yard next. So if he's tied up and you know we obviously have Dmitry Bivol, he's fighting on the zone and the three other champions, uh, Vodsek, Berdebiev and Kovalev are kind of tied into ESPN deals, which is a bit unfortunate because it might make you know these unifications that little bit harder in terms of getting Dimitri Bivol in the ring but anyway that's enough said about that leave your thoughts down below let me know what you thought about Berturbiev did you watch it it came on at a bad time when you know kind of hit in with the Canelo fight so I'm assuming not a lot of people watched that fight a decent performance decent performance let me know what you guys think down below thanks again for dropping by the channel and as always I will talk to you after